Hi, I'm Dr. Elham Saidi Najad and I'm currently teaching at Barnard College, Columbia University. I teach courses such as financial economics, money and banking, monetary theory, and macroeconomics. I'm also working with Crimson Education. I'm a monetary economist and uh, my specialization is understanding money market and other important segments of financial market and these are exactly the things that I'm teaching at Barnard College. I teach money and banking, I teach monetary economics, I teach macroeconomics and I also teach financial economics. I've also designed a seminar series called The Future of Central Banking and in that seminar series, I want my students to know first the history of central banking and also the evolutions of this important institution in the financial market and also in the economy. At the end of the seminar series, we decided to use our knowledge of the past and what is currently happening in the financial market and in the money market to predict the role of central bankers in the future. At Crimson Education, I work with high school students. My favorite part of working with high school students is that they are extremely curious and they are so passionate about building their future. And this passion is all about learning and building rather than acquiring good grade or going to the next level. This is for me a defining feature of working with my students at Crimson Education. At Crimson, I advise the students and I help them to actually conduct their own research. I also teach the students depending on the kind of package that they have. Currently, for example, there are, I do have a student and he is developing his own app and it's a, a stock trading app. But one of the goal of the app is also to educate other students. So what I am doing is I'm helping my students to actually develop the ideas that are important for a stock trading and also trading in other segments of the financial market. So for his package, it is more about teaching him important concepts in finance. But for most cases, I help my students to write their own research paper. One of my students is doing an extremely important work and he is examining the role of Central Bank in United Arab Emirates after the COVID-19 pandemic. His findings are extremely important because in his research, Looking at the data and the balance sheet of the central bank and also the balance sheet of financial and non-financial companies in UAE, he concluded that UAE, in order to actually combat the crisis of the future, it has to move towards a more closed economy. For those of you who are familiar with international finance, you know that this is a very controversial conclusion. But my student at Crimson Education has data to support this finding. Another student of mine is currently working on the same thing, but for Russian economy. And her conclusions are extremely insightful as well. She is comparing the actions of a Russian government and Russian central bank with the response of the other of, of the countries in the European Union. And her conclusion is showing that in some measures the central bank in Russia is doing more effective job. However, when it comes to the design of policies in central bank, Unite, uh, European Monetary Union and European Central Bank is having a better response to the COVID-19 crisis. And there are lessons to learn from ECB. The other important work that my student is doing is she is very interested in the concept of inequality in the UK economy. And she is currently adopting an important paper by Fazari, which is about inequality in the US and also in Canada and the relation and the correlation between inequality and also the salary of the CEOs here in North America and she's conducting the same kind of research 
and basically replicating his important work for the case of UK. Her work is still work in progress, but after we finish this paper, I believe there will be some important outcome that sheds some light on one of the underlying factors that is determining inequality in the UK. I love education and there is no place in the world that I like more than universities. And uh, what really drove me into education was maybe because I grew up next to a university. And I always loved that dynamic that was happening in the yards, in the gardens, and we were very close to the econ department. And I could actually see or hear the, some of the conversations that the students had after the class. So for me, it is very intimate. The reason that I love education, it really comes back to my childhood. But all I know that I love nothing in this world more than education. The advice that I have for students who want to actually design their own research question is to find the question that they really care about. And if they don't know the topics that are important to them, try to actually be curious. If you are interested in economics, for example, start by reading financial articles, for example, Wall Street Journal, Economist, Financial Times, and understanding the articles in these journals is an important goal for these students. And they soon realize that in order to understand this concept, they should have better understanding of important dynamics in the financial market. And those dynamics can be their research question. If they want to work on these kind of research questions, Crimson Education is an excellent platform. And I'm always happy to help you realize your curiosity. If you are interested to work on your own research ideas, Crimson Education is an excellent platform and I highly encourage you to explore some of the links that is available to you here.